Hi, it's Pekan, and you're watching Celeb Secret TV. So we're here at Backstage iHeartRadio Music Festival. Yeah. Are you I'm excited here. to be here? I'm so excited. Look at this. How I know, can I not be? Crazy. Yeah. And I hear you're a pre-show performer as well. Yeah, I am. Okay, how's that? I, you know, I just I love performing. Okay. I love performing. I love being on stage. So anytime I can get on stage, it's a blessing. And yeah, Absolutely. I'm really excited. It's big. It's a big, big one today, there. man. It's a big one. It's a big stadium. I've never been here, so I okay. kind of my first time in Vegas is just stepping on one of the biggest stages in the city. Did you get in Vegas today? Yeah, or? just quite a few hours ago. Oh, okay. Are yeah. you gonna maybe check out the strip? If I get the time, I don't know if I have the time. Honestly, okay. I'm going back to London in the morning, but. Oh. Okay. But um, I'm happy to be here, man. Absolutely. Shout out Vegas. One artist that you're really looking forward to seeing inside. The women behind you. I'm trying to finish yeah. this interview as soon as possible. Not <laughs> because of you, because there's, there's there's two amazing ladies on the Absolutely. stage right now. Absolutely. And uh, TLC, yeah. Did you say they kind of inspire you? Music? For sure. I have a record on my album that is super TLC inspired. It's called To Open My Heart. And if you listen to it, you get where I'm coming from. Okay. I love it. Now, yeah. the album just dropped today. Yes. Sophomore album. Yes, you. Halo. Halo out now, baby. Yeah. You got to tell me all about it. Halo is just, you know, one of my babies. You know, every time I put an album out, it's a weird feeling because it's like, it's so dear to my heart. I'm so proud of this album. It's, you know, we were kind of went back to our indie rock roots a little bit, played with instruments more than like, you know, than we have in the last year or so. And um, it was post COVID. So we just really wanted to uplift people, you know, give people a reason to be outside, to dance, to smile. Mm -hmm. Sad when you want to be sad, of course, there's some records on there, but ultimately we really wanted to uplift people with this record. So I hope it works. Absolutely. And what would you say you learned about yourself through this whole process of making the record? Oh, good question. Oh, Honestly, you. probably the best question I've been asked oh, on this red you. carpet today. That I'm probably not going to be able to give you the most comprehensive answer because I'm probably going to go think about it after I left okay. now that you said that. But off the top of my head, just learn to learn that there's no ceilings to what I can do, you know, no ceilings to what I do, no boundaries to how good I can get at what I do and just and honestly to just keep going, honestly, yeah, that's like that's the main thing is that like there were moments on this record where like I didn't know where I was what direction I was gonna go in, but I just stuck true to it and let it take me to where it wanted to go. So just really believe in my taste and my gut and my decisions, yeah. I love that. And yeah. you said you love performing live. Yeah, so you're love it. take these songs out on the road? Yeah, oh, 100%. Okay. America coming soon. I feel like I haven't announced American tour yet. Okay. And so like my fans are like, when are you coming? When are you coming? But of course I'm going to come at some point. It'll probably be early next year. So right. yeah, right. We'll look out for that. Absolutely. And one city that you're dying to play a show in. New York. New York. I'm from New York. I love playing shows in New York. Uh, it's just like they feel like they understand me the most. Yeah, I love New York. But Texas too, though. Texas Honestly, cool. Texas is probably my favorite state in the America in the oh, in the United that. States. You know, I love New York because it's so similar to it's so similar but so different to where I'm from. Mm -hmm. But Texas, like, it's just I love Texas. It's, it's got such a heart. You feel, yeah, different world, <laughs> and just like I don't know, for better or for worse, it has a real sense of um, sense of uh, what's the word identity. They know what they are. Absolutely. Yeah. And lastly, we are celeb secrets. So maybe any secrets or fun facts from making this record. I had some great know. names on, like you know, like help me on this record. I had Little Sims open the record. I had Daniel Caesar help me with a bridge on the live. You know, I had some great names help me on there. That's just a couple to to give you that. I love that.